kids, it's Mrs. Murphy and it's time for math. In today's lesson, we're going to use a 100s chart to find patterns. Let's check out the 100s chart. In this 100 chart, it has one of its rows colored in pink. Remember, a row is the part of the chart that moves from left to right. Then it has one of the columns colored in yellow. Remember, a column is the part of the chart that moves top to bottom. If you wanted to practice counting up one at a time, you would need to count using the row, like this, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. But if you wanted to count up adding 10 at a time, you would need to count the numbers in a column, like this, 4, 14, 24, 23, 44, 54, 64, 74, 84, 94. Take a look at this 100s chart. Some of the numbers are missing. The numbers that are missing are all next to each other. I need to figure out if the numbers are missing from a row or a column. Since the numbers that are moving are missing from left to right, that means they are missing from a row. Remember, a row moves up one at a time. To find the missing number, I can count up one at a time. 33, 34, 35, 36. What comes next? You got it, 37. Let's try another Take one. Take a look at this 100s chart. Some of the numbers are missing. The numbers that are missing are all next to each other. I need to figure out if the numbers are missing from a row or a column. Since the numbers that are moving are missing from left to right, that means they are missing from a row. Remember, a row moves up one at a time. To find the missing number, I can count up one at a time. 33, 34, 35, 36. What comes next? You got it. 37. Let's try it. Look, we have three more missing numbers. Are the missing numbers in a row or in a column? You're right, they're in a column because they're moving up and down. When we count numbers in a column, do we count by ones or by tens? We count by tens. That means the number on the right the ones place will stay the same. In every box, it should have a five in the ones place. But the number on the left, the tens, will move up by one. Let's count up by tens. Five, 15, 25, 35. What do you think comes next? 45, great job. That's it. That's how you find patterns in a 100s chart. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.